Hi, I'm Cynthia and on today's video, I'm going to show you how I clean my edible image printer. I'm also going to show you the little kit that I use to clean my printer, how I took out all the ink, how to put it back and all that good stuff. Here's a little bit of a preview. Don't forget that if you do have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And also I do have to preface by saying that I did clean my printer after eight months of not using it. So yours might still have a chance. The first thing that I did was lift off the screen where the scanning goes and when you lift off this screen it's going to reveal the carriage for all of the ink. Um, what it's going to do is when you open it make sure that it is connected so that when you open it the carriage is going to do a little bit of movement back and forth and then it's going to settle in one place. So let's go ahead and wait for it to do that so we can continue to the next step. After the carriage moved back and forth, it's going to settle in this spot and I'm going to start by removing the yellow ink first and then the rest of the colors. The reason that I'm doing that is that just in case your cartridges do have ink, you don't want the darker colors spilling into the lighter colors. Now that we have removed our ink, we're going to just go ahead and lift off the frame that holds the ink. This part should come up fairly easily and once we have done that, this is going to reveal the print head right in the back. This part we are going to pull forward towards us and it should slide out fairly easily. Here's how the print head looks and on the front there you'll see the little slots where the ink goes through individually and on the back there should be a chip. And in the kit, there is a little container for your rubber bands that we will be taking off of our print head. There's also liquid print head cleaner. There's a pair of tweezers. There's going to be large and small tubes. And there will also be a syringe included in your kit. In the little blue container, I'm going to go ahead and dispense a little bit of the green liquid cleaner. And by a little bit, I mean maybe approximately one or two tablespoons. You don't need a lot. Here's a closer look at our print head. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the tweezers to remove the little bands that are connected or holding onto the dispensers that dispense the ink. Um, so all the little rubber bands, I'm just going to take them off and as soon as you take them off, just go ahead and place them into your print head cleaner so that while we're doing the rest, they have time to soak and to clean off very, very well. And I did mention earlier that I did go about eight months without using my edible image printer and I did find chunks of ink inside of the print head. So if you do have any of that, make sure you remove it. In case you forget, we will rinse our print head, so don't worry about it. And once you have all the little bands in the container, go ahead and close it tightly and then just kind of like shake it around a little bit to make sure the liquid gets into all the bands. Now we are going to go ahead and turn on the hot water and we're going to place our print head directly under there. So make sure you swish your print head back and forth to make sure that the water runs through every single one of the ink dispensers so that in case that there's any ink trapped in there, it runs through and the hot water helps to kind of dissolve anything that is stuck in there. Now I'm going to start with my syringe and the smaller tube. This smaller tube will fit into the smaller ink dispensing holes on my print head. So we're going to just go ahead and take it and suck a little bit of that liquid into the syringe so we can run it through the ink dispensers. 
when you first start to do it, it might be a little bit hard to get the tubing to fit directly onto the dispensing holes, uh, but just make sure you wiggle it in there and it's secure. Sometimes if you're having trouble pushing the liquid through the hole, it might mean that your hole is still clogged and you might have to run it through hot water once again. Here I'm pushing it and as you can see onto my towel, once I was able to push the liquid, any of the remaining ink that is still in there should run out through the back. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat this for every single one of the dispensing uh, holes. And once I get to the larger hole, I'll show you how I change the tubing for that. I also want to add as a note that I did do this process for every single one of the little holes approximately three to four times. Since I did go that long without using my print head, I wanted to make sure that it was very, very clean. You might only have to do it once, but I wanted to be on the safe side and did it three to four times per little hole. Also, please keep in mind that this process is very messy so that if, if you're doing this in, on a table that you like or on a space that is prone to getting stained, make sure that you do have a plastic or paper towels or something over your surface to make sure that it catches all of this uh, leftover ink. Once I went ahead and cleaned all the small holes, I did go ahead and change my tubing into the larger tube and I did the same process. So I went ahead and inserted it and then I added liquid into the syringe so that I could push it through that big hole. I did run into a few problems because like I said earlier, since I did go so long without using it, that was one of the dispensing holes that was the most clogged. So I did repeat the step where I ran my print head through hot water once again, and then I returned back to clean it. So don't give up. It might be tedious. It might take some time, but you may be able to save your edible image printer. Trust me. Now I came back and did this whole process again. And as you can see, the liquid is finally going through the hole and it is pushing out any of the remaining ink that was still in there. And now it's time to remove the little bands that we left soaking in the liquid. I did go ahead and leave them in the little jar, but I did run them through running hot water just to make sure that anything that was still in there was gone. And once I did that, I did go ahead and take them out and place them into a towel so they could kind of dry. Um, and here's how they look once they are clean. So if you remember in the beginning, they were very dirty and they had even like chunks of ink. Here's how they look after they've been cleaned. Here's also a look at my clean print head. And since my ink cartridges did empty out and I don't have the orange clips to refill them, I will be using new ink cartridges and will be saving the orange clips so that I can do refills in the future. Now we are going to place the bands back into our print head. Make sure that the ridges are face side down and we are going to do that for every single one of those slots and bands. Also, please make a note that before inserting your print head back into your printer that it is very, very dry. You can allow it to air dry overnight or you can also allow it to dry for a few hours and then just make sure to blow dry it to advance the process or to make sure that there's no water left because if there is any water left on the back where the chip is, you do run the risk of burning your printer. And once you have all the bands in place, we're just going to go ahead and insert our print head the same way that we pulled it out. And
and here's how new cartridges look please 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 make sure that you do save the orange clips because like i said earlier when doing a refill you do need to place your cartridges back on the orange clips to prevent any spilling of the ink when you're doing the refill so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the packaging and i'll leave you so you can see how i'm inserting the ink into my printer This next part was a bit of a fail, but I'm leaving it in there so I can explain what I did wrong. So I removed the yellow tape and I also removed my ink cartridge from the orange clip and it did spill a little bit. So the correct way or the best way to do it is to remove your ink cartridge from the orange clip, insert it into the carriage and then remove the yellow tape once your ink cartridge has been sitting or has been inserted into the carriage. Before closing your lid, make sure that all of the ink cartridges are recognized and the way that you know that is if the light turns red, then they are recognized and once you close the lid, you can actually go into the settings of your printer and check to see if it recognizes the cartridges and if it shows that they are full and you can do that by doing what I did here. Here I have listed very, very important things to remember. These are the things that are very important and you need to make sure to not forget them while you're cleaning or after or during the cleaning of your edible image printer. I really do hope that this video was able to help you. Don't forget that your edible image printer might still have a solution. Don't buy a new one. Don't throw it away until you have done this. And if you do have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the boxes below. Share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye!